Hello and welcome to this Mirrored Cathedral build guide. Now we're going to start with a time lapse of the build. I'm going to get into a little hands on demonstration of the columns involved in the build and how you can kind of speed up the process of making them using Grid Snap. And finally, stick around to the end of the video. I have a little bit of channel news. That being said, let's get into this time lapse. Okay guys, welcome back from the time lapse. Hope you enjoyed it. Now as promised, we're gonna get into a little portion where I show you how to build these columns. And just to show you how quick and easy these can be, I'm gonna be using exclusively one meter grid snap for the whole thing. Now before we get to the columns, just wanna make sure we all have a solid understanding of what world grid snap means. Now it's a grid that runs through the entire room, something you don't have control over. And every time you select grid snap when holding a decoration, this is the grid that it's going to snap to. Obviously this demonstration is just showing you one plane, but in actuality, this is across the whole room in three dimensions. And what I want you to take away from this demonstration is how easy it is with grid snap to get these decorations to line up and they'll be perfectly in line every time. So now we're gonna take what we've learned here and I'm gonna really quickly build a set of columns using only one meter grid snap. So we're gonna start with these bases and obviously you could manually count these out one two three four meters apart or you can make yourself a ruler put them on that one meter grid snap and then you can simply copy and paste your measuring stick and line these up really quickly no counting necessary next we're going to grid snap our columns into place and these i'm just going to slide along so i know they're all the same height again be a little bit quicker if you used a ruler just to get the heights instead And obviously with those little end caps in place, you could leave them at this. But we're going to be a little bit extra. I'm trying to speed through this bit. I'm not doing anything special, really. I'm just grabbing these corner pieces, using one meter grid snap to make sure they're in the middle of the pillars, I'm placing four in each pillar, and then giving them a rotation so they form archways. 
it was looking pretty good. Again, the only thing we've done is used one meter grid snap. Literally nothing special here. It's just using that tool helps you keep everything lined up. Also makes the whole job a little bit faster too. And one final benefit to having all this stuff on one meter grid snap is it becomes really easy to add other embellishments. Oh, I quite like this little spiky piece here. Adds a nice detail. And you can really quickly replicate that across the whole structure. Now I use this one meter grid snap in pretty much all of that cathedral build. It just stops you having to worry about lining things up and it gives it a really nice crisp neat finish. Now to reward you guys that are still here at the end of the video, I did promise you some channel news. Now you may notice that the channel hit 500 subscribers and to celebrate that fact, I want to give away 500 platinum. Now to enter, simply write the word grid snap, all capitals, no spaces in a comment. If for whatever reason that winner fails to get back to me, I will give it 24 hours and I'll draw a second person. Please keep an eye on your notifications. I will reply to the winning comment. That's all from me. Peace out. Catch you in the next one.